will answer. Order. Question number two, Jamie Lee Ross. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Finance and asks, what steps is the government taking to get the Crown accounts back into surplus? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, Budget 2012 shows the government remains clearly on track to achieve a surplus in 2014-15, with $4.4 billion of new operating spending over the next four years, matched by a combination of savings and revenue initiatives. This is a situation many countries would be envious of. We will achieve this through discipline on new spending and running a zero budget for the second consecutive year. We are encouraging economic growth to take place, whether it's through changes to the tax system, changes to the RMA, changes to labour laws, the list goes on. Across the economy, these policies will help drive the growth of competitive business. Mr. Jamie Speaker, Lee Ross. Supplementary question to the Minister. Has he received any reports on alternative approaches to getting back into surplus? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, no, but I do have seen a lot of proposals to simply spend more money, whether it's the increased costs of borrowing more, higher tertiary student support, ineffective R&D tax credits, ever-increasing ECE subsidies, or even, in fact, army brass bands. The approach advocated for resembles a fire hose of borrowed money being sprayed around, and not just borrowed money, but money borrowed internationally. Somehow, all of these policies of spending more money and making no savings would apparently still lead the Labor Party back into service by order, 2014. Order. The member was on OK until that point. He mustn't attribute policies to other parties. That's not his responsibility. Uh, Jamie Lee Ross. Supplementary question to the Minister. Has he received any reports on alternative options to save money? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, I have received one. It involves increasing the age of retirement to 67, but it doesn't kick in until past 2020 and would save only a small amount initially and actually nothing between now and 2020. And that's by a certain Mr David Shearer. However, I've also seen another separate report which involves reducing the age of retirement to 60 for manual workers. Uh, yeah, apparently. Uh, which requires extra spending. Order. Maybe as much as... Order. Order. The Minister has no responsibility for um, the reports of, of David Shearer. I think we've heard sufficient. The uh, supplementary question, Honourable David Park. Uh, would his government get back into surplus more easily if export growth was higher? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Well, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, a whole range of things could get us back into surplus more quickly. But, well, it doesn't necessarily apply, because if, for example, we then decided to spend a whole lot of money to try and achieve that, then that wouldn't get us back into surplus more quickly. That would just involve fire hosing money in that direction. Question number three, the Honourable David Parker. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question.